my child gets frequent colds does he have primary complex what is primary complex let's see in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat and this is scientific doctor in this channel you will get videos on medical science myth busters and other similar stuff if you would like to view such videos consider subscribing also press the bell icon for instant notifications on new content today we are going to see a question asked by a viewer my child has recurrent cold does he have primary complex is it something to be worried about we shall see in today's video every parent whose child gets frequent colds has a fear of the child having primary complex what is primary complex primary complex in reality is a primary tuberculosis infection tuberculosis like common cold as i described in a previous video is transmitted through aerosol route that is from person to person when the person coughs sneezes or through their respiratory secretions so is tuberculosis disease similar to a common cold is it not serious let us understand what happens when a person gets the tuberculosis bacteria tuberculosis bacteria unlike many other bacteria is difficult to eradicate so the immune system and specifically cells called macrophages engulf the tb bacteria and slowly they destroy it the tb bacteria and the engulfed macrophages together with the adjoining lymphatics is called a primary complex or a gans focus let us also understand the difference between a tuberculosis infection and other infections not all persons who have tb bacteria get the tb disease there are two stages tb infection and tb disease a primary tb infection described above does not always lead to tb disease for example a child who has had a primary tb infection may not go on to develop a tb disease less than 10% of people who have tb infection go on to develop a tuberculosis disease does that mean all children who have a primary tb infection needs to be treated there are strict diagnostic investigation and treatment guidelines available for tuberculosis in india approved by the revised national tuberculosis control program there are certain markers where you need to test for tb any child or an adult who has more than 2 weeks of cough or fever or who has a weight loss or a child who doesn't gain adequate weight depending on your doctor's suspicion may need to undergo a test for tb there are three stages in testing for tb first is a skin test called tuberculin skin test which is otherwise called manto test this tuberculin skin test can give rise to a small swelling which is red after 48 to 72 hours which can be read as positive or negative a positive skin test does not always mean tuberculosis disease or infection so further sometimes x rays of the chest are taken and also sputum from the individual is taken if a child or an adult does not produce sputum they can be induced to produce sputum or a child can have their resting gastric juice analyzed for tuberculosis bacteria based on the results of these tests they can be diagnosed to have tb and treated then what is primary complex probably a primary complex cannot be diagnosed as such but what is diagnosed is called a latent tubercular infection latent tubercular infection or ltbi is diagnosed when a child, child under 6 years of age who develops positivity after a tuberculosis skin test or manto test this just means he is recently infected with tb bacteria probably does not have the disease so they have a simple treatment of 6 months with a single medicine so in conclusion not all children with frequent colds do have primary complex or any form of tuberculosis infection but we must understand whenever a doctor suspects tb disease and tests for it finds any test positive he may give you the treatment for tuberculosis infection itself on a optimistic note whether it is a latent tubercular infection or a established tb disease 
it is heartening to note that all of them will be cured of their disease after 6 to 9 months of treatment as per their doctor's instructions. Thanks for watching. We will meet again in the next video.